Welcome to Wika's Combination Circuit Breakdown video. Here you're going to learn how to apply rules for solving combination circuits. The biggest confusion often happens due to not knowing what rule applies to what situation. You will learn the right rule for each situation you might encounter. Our goal is to make you a combination circuit master. Combination circuits are made up of series and parallel circuits. This is an example of a series circuit. There is only one path for current to flow. This is an example of a parallel circuit, since there is more than one path for current to flow. Series and parallel circuits have different rules. Let's carefully review them. Series circuits are often referred to as simple circuits since all the quantities are additive except for ampacity, which stays the same throughout the circuit. To calculate the total voltage in a series circuit, Simply add together all the voltage drops. The voltages add up to the total. To calculate the total resistance in a series circuit, simply add together all the resistors. The resistance adds up to the total. Since a series circuit only has one path for current to flow, the total current is the same anywhere in the circuit. The amperages stay the same. In review, all the quantities of a series circuit are additive except for the ampacity, which stays the same. Please pause the video and write down these rules. Parallel circuits have a few more rules and calculations that need to be performed. While amperage is additive, it is the voltage that stays the same in a parallel circuit. There is also a special formula for finding total resistance. In a parallel circuit, the voltage across any part of the circuit is the same as the total voltage. The voltage stays the same. As an electrician, parallel circuits are what we work on every day. If we were to test the voltage throughout any circuit, it would be the same. The amperages add up to the total. Parallel circuits have multiple paths for current to flow. Therefore, the current in a parallel circuit is equal to the sum of the individual branches. In the field, we would add all the amperage together to size any circuit. There is a special formula for finding total resistance, the reciprocal formula. We have come up with a simple three-step process for calculating the total resistance in a parallel circuit. Resistors of the same value technique only works when all the resistors of the same value are present. Product over the sum technique can only calculate two resistors at a time. There are many ways you can calculate resistance, but only one technique works in every situation. The reciprocal formula can be broken down into three steps. This reciprocal formula is a three-step process. Whether you have one or 20 resistors to calculate, this three-step process works perfectly every time. You can also do the math with a basic calculator, since the three-step process only requires addition and division. Let's say you get a question that asks for the total resistance for the following resistors. R1 equals 2, R2 equals 4, R3 equals 6. The first step requires you to put a 1 over each resistor and do the division. Step 1, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6. 1 divided by 2 equals 0 0.5. 1 divided by 4 equals 0 0.25. 1 divided by 6 equals 0 0.1666. Step 2. After you've completed the division, add those answers together. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.1666 equals 0 0.91666. Step 3. After you have added the resistors together, put a 1 over that answer and divide. 1 divided by 0 0.91666 equals 1.09 as total resistance. Calculating total resistance in a parallel circuit is just that easy. Let's review to make sure you've got it. Step 1. Put a 1 over each resistor and do the division. 1 divided by 8 is 0 0.125 plus 1 divided by 18 equals 0 0.055555. Step 2. Add those resistors together. 0 0.125 plus 0 0.055555 equals 0 
1-8-0-5-5-5-5. Step 3. Put a 1 over that answer and divide one last time. 1 divided by 0 0.1805555 equals 5.53846 as the total resistance. In review, the amperage in a parallel circuit is added together. The voltage stays the same, and the resistances use the reciprocal formula or the three step process. Please pause the video and write down these rules. As we mentioned before, Combination circuits contain both series and parallel circuits. Now that you know the rules for each kind of circuit, let's solve a few so that you can understand how it's done. The first question most students ask is, where do I start? The first thing you should do is identify what type of circuits are present by tracing the current paths. The goal in a combination circuit is to end up with one simple series circuit. This circuit contains parallel circuits, which need to be made into series. Our first step is to combine the parallel circuit into a series circuit. Since we have identified this as a parallel circuit, we need to use the reciprocal formula, or the three-step process. Repeat this process for each parallel circuit that is identified. Step 1. Put a 1 over all resistors and divide. 1 divided by 20 equals 0 0.05. 1 divided by 30 equals 0 0.0333333. Step 2. Add them together. 0 0.05 plus 0 0.0333333 equals 0 0.0833333. Step 3. Put a 1 over the answer and divide. 1 divided by 0 0.0833333 equals 12. Remember to redraw the circuit once you combine the resistors to keep track of what you have calculated. Let's use the reciprocal formula again. R3 and R4 are in parallel. Step 1. Put a 1 over all resistors and divide. 1 divided by 10 equals 0 0.1. 1 divided by 40 equals 0 0.025. Step 2. Add them together. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.025 equals 0 0.125. Step 3. Put a 1 over the answer and divide. 1 divided by 0 0.125 equals 8. Now redraw the circuit. R1, 2, and R3, 4 is in series since there is only one path for current to flow. Since we have identified this as being a series circuit, we would use the series rules for resistance to solve. Remember, series is simple. Just add them together. 12 plus 8 equals 20 ohms of total resistance. Now redraw the circuit. Now that we have solved the total resistance, we can calculate all other quantities using Ohm's law. 60 volts divided by 20 ohms of total resistance equals 3 amps total. Let's fill in the totals and rebuild. R1, 2, 3, and 4 are the same as the total. Continue to redraw and rebuild the circuit working backwards applying the right rule. Ampacity stays the same in a series circuit since I1, 2, and I3 and 4 are in series. They both will have the same value as the total ampacity. Ampacity stays the same. Now use Ohm's law to fill in the quantities. Since we know two quantities, we can use simple Ohm's law to find the values. I1 and 2 equal 3, and R1 and 2 equal 12. Therefore, 3 times 12 equals 36 volts. Let's use the same steps for this resistor. I3 and 4 equal 3 and R3 and 4 equal 8. Therefore, 3 times 8 equals 24 volts. Now, redraw and rebuild. We're now back in a parallel circuit and parallel circuit rules. Since R3 and R4 are in parallel, they both will have the same value as the combined voltage of R3 and R4 
R3 and R4 voltage is 24. Since we know two quantities, we can use simple Ohm's law to find the values. Now, let's use Ohm's law. 24 divided by 40 ohms equals 0 0.6 amps. Let's do the same again. 24 volts divided by 10 ohms equals 2.4 amps. Redraw and rebuild. Continue to fill in quantities and identify the circuit to use the right rule. Voltage stays the same in a parallel circuit. Since R1 and R2 are in parallel, therefore both E1 and E2's voltage is 36 volts. Now use Ohm's law to fill in quantities. Since we have these two quantities, we will use simple Ohm's law to find the values. 36 volts divided by 20 ohms equals 1.8 amps. Let's do it again. 36 volts divided by 30 ohms equals 1.2 amps. We did it! Let's try one more to make sure you've got it. The first step is to identify what type of circuit you are trying to solve. This circuit both has parallel and series circuits. Use the series rules on resistance to combine. Since series rules are simple, just add them together. Then redraw and combine. Now that we have redrawn the circuit, we need to solve for the remaining parallel circuit. Use the parallel reciprocal rule on resistance to combine. Step 1. Put a 1 over each resistor and do the division. 1 divided by 34.3 equals 0 0.3. 0291 plus 1 divided by 80 equals 0 0.0125. Step 2. Add the resistors together. 0 0.0291 plus 0 0.0125 equals 0 0.0416. Step 3. Put a 1 over that answer and divide. 1 divided by 0 0.0416 equals 24 ohms of total resistance. Now that we have found the total resistance, we can calculate the total amperage as identified as I. 240 volts divided by 24 ohms of total resistance equals 10 amps of total current. Now it's time to fill in the totals and rebuild. R1, 2, 3, and 4 are the same as the total. Voltage stays the same in a parallel circuit. Now that we have voltage and resistance, we can calculate the ampacity. Now use Ohm's law to fill in the quantities. 240 volts divided by 34.3 ohms of resistance equals 7 amps. 240 volts divided by 80 ohms of resistance equals 3 amps. Ampacity stays the same in a series circuit. Now that we have amperage and resistance, we can calculate the voltage. Now use Ohm's law to fill in quantities. 7 amps times 22 ohms of resistance equals 154 volts. 7 amps times 12.3 ohms of resistance equals 86.1 volts. 3 amps times 35 ohms of resistance equals 105 volts. 3 amps times 45 ohms of resistance equals 135 volts. That's all there is to it. Thanks for viewing this week of video. Look for more at our YouTube channel.